ask Tom on home show. Ramon from Willowbrook has a question about moldy brick. Yeah, it's in his the flooring in his 12 by 15 atrium. Tom, take a look at this picture here. You can see, see where it's growing. Ramon writes, the bricks are getting mildew and the grout is starting to break up among them. He says it's a small space and he says it's enclosed on three sides by the house and, and one by about an eight foot tall wall as you come into the house. He wants to know, how can I correct this problem and who would you recommend to do that kind of work? If you want to save the brick, the first thing you would do is just pressure wash the whole thing. You can see you've got more. It's not really mold or there's a little mildew, but you've got like green fungus growth growing on that thing. So it's definitely got uh, a living creatures growing on your on your brick. So you got to knock that all off. You've got to pressure wash it, get it clean. You might lose some more of the mortar that's in between the brick, but then someone's going to have to come out and repoint it or re-grout it with a look-alike gray grout that looks like the old mortar. If they use mortar, it could be grout there. I'm not sure what the substrate is. But the key to doing that is this. Before you go and grout it, and I want you to get someone good who knows what they're doing because they might have even a better system that, that I'm about to say, but you have to seal the brick first. Then you go back and you float the grout on there so the grout doesn't get into the porous brick because it's got a sealer on there. How long that'll last, I don't know. But you want to get it through the grouting process and keep it super clean until they get all the way across the entire patio and then everybody stays off it. Hopefully you don't get a rain and that kind of thing. But as far as that goes, the sealer or the protection of the brick after it's pressure washed is really important if you're going to regrout this. I was talking with, well, first of all, so the pressure washing, they'd call sunny pr pressure washer and yes. power washer. They, they, they'll come, pressure washer, rather. they'll come out and do it. Sunny pressure washing. Yeah. you find them at homeshowradio.com. But I was talking to Lee from Lord's Chimney earlier today because yeah. he was talking about sealers they use on the chimneys. And he said that they use a sealer that keeps moisture from getting in but allows moisture to escape. It doesn't just lock moisture inside the brick. And so, like you say, he's going to want to find a, a brick repair company somewhere that really knows their stuff to Absolutely. make sure that he doesn't create, just postpone this problem to happen again and again down the road. Well, it'll just, it'll, the brick will turn gray and, and cloudy and it'll just be a mess yeah. as far as that goes. But what you're talking about, Charlie, with the sealer has got a perm rating. In other words, it's a breathable moisture barrier. It's very mm. much like we talk about Tyvex and Hardy Wrap and stuff on homes where they'll shed water, but they let vapor transfer through. So right. it's, a, it's a different process. All right. Do you have a question? Tom can help you out like that, whether it's you know, brick or siding or electrical or plumbing. We're here to help you anywhere around the house. Just go visit homeshowradio.com, fill out the Ask Tom form, and uh, send it in, and uh, we'll put out a video like this. And when you're watching our videos like this one, we'd sure appreciate it if you know you subscribe. And uh, go ahead and click that thumbs up if you're watching us on YouTube. Uh, let us know how you like the video.